Karibu sana katika Mwangaza TV. Leo tuko na mgeni na amekuwa akitueleza mahali alianza mziki. Na ni vizuri kuwa kupata ushuhuda wa mtu toka kwake yeye mwenyewe. And when she's telling us kwamba alianza pia maisha yake ya familia akiwa mchanga sana, lazima tutajua changamoto za mtu kuanza familia akiwa mchanga na anaimba. Na yeye ni mrembo. <laughs> eh ako it him and sijui ngo nasema aje ama you used to go ukienda mahali ku minister unaanza na kusema my name is Rosie Ohon and I'm married I'm very married <laughs> No, lakini kuna hizo kuna hiyo kupigwa na butwa Uki, kwanza ukisema watoto watatu ama wanne una, unasikia mshangao <laughs> unasikia mshangao oh, yeah but it's a choice it's a choice yeah to, to, to stay young is a choice mm -hmm. yeah you know <laughs> yeah wakati ambapo mtu ana anahudumu mm -hmm. na ameingia kwa huduma na kuna ile distinction ambayo Mungu huwa amepatia mtu binafsi. Yeah, yeah. Like now mm -hmm. kulingana na jinsi ambavyo ulilelewa kanisani mm -hmm. wewe ni mtoto wa pasta, umepata mm -hmm. opportunity katika kwaya, mm -hmm. unaimba na watu wakubwa na wewe mm -hmm. ni kadogo, mm -hmm. umefika wakati wako wa kuwa youth, mm -hmm. umeingia katika ndoa. Mm -hmm. I, I am believing kwamba ingawaje kwetu inaweza kuonekana kama smooth running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think ilikuwa smooth running. <laughs> eh, kwa sababu mm. uh, I'm a pastor's kid. Mm -hmm. I told you that. Mm -hmm. Sasa sasa <clears throat> um, kupenda kuimba haikumaanisha ti sikupata changamoto. So mm. nakumbuka mimi nimeokoka mara kadhaa. <laughs> Yeye yeah, ni kazi. Kwa sababu <laughs> kwa sababu uko kwa church. Mm? Alta call imeitwa nimeokoka mm. mara saingine ujuiko ume backslide hapo vio <laughs> tena unaenda tena so mimi by the time i received now christ for real that i was at 17 saba je hapo kuna mtu anasema nilikuwa 17 <laughs> nilikuwa 17 kwa sababu you know being a pastor's kid i manage at sasa at umeokoka au utapitia hizo changamoto na nini mm -hmm. so mimi nilipitia changamoto just as an ordinary teenager mm -hmm. unaona hizo vitu tu eh, kukakuwa na part kukakuwa na rebellion kumbuka bado napenda gospel napenda kuimba but it doesn't mean at hapo sasa ume receive Christ and everything unaona so kulikuwa na hiyo so at 17 ikaokoka We, I met with my husband at 17 mm -hmm. and because we were in love mm -hmm. na pia eh, temptation ilikuja na nini we got a kid so we got a kid I, I was at I think I got a kid at 19 mm -hmm. ndio my first born so yako 22 alafu sasa after hapo ndio sasa tukaamua ah sisi tumependana sana tunaoana so we, we decided tunaoana we knew tunaoana mm -hmm. lakini sasa tuli fall but bado tuliona so tuliona kama mtoto wako maybe two years 2001 mm -hmm. and then now we got the rest so siezi sema ti nilikuwa niliokoka tu kwa church nilikuwa pastors kid very pure very no 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 nilipitia challenges za uh, teenagehood za ku make mistakes za kufanya nini but i still came back to god mm -hmm. yeah because god had a purpose for me to become uh, a worshiper mm -hmm. yeah And now wakati ambapo ulingia katika ndoa ulingia mm. uliolewa na mtu ambaye alikuelewa kama music minister Yes he did mm -hmm. he did I, I, I got a good a good guy uh, na hata sasa ni mzuri <laughs> I got a, a nice luo fellow mm -hmm. and uh, he he understood he understood hata hata kuna picha zingine ukikuja kwangu nitakuonesha napiga keyboard ya ananishikia mic mm -hmm. mimi napiga na tumekaa chini sisi sote mm -hmm. so tulianza hivyo na because we were so ministry oriented we knew tunataka kuserve Mungu alijua mimi ni nataka kuimba mimi ni mwimbaji alinipata nikiimba so mm -hmm. he was very supportive to date mm -hmm. to date he has been very supportive Awesome. Yeah. Ujani ruhusu tu nikuulize hii hi swali. Ingawaje mm -hmm. ni personal kidogo. Okay. Kwa sababu <laughs> um, watu wengi mm -hmm. wa waja embrace isipokuwa ni sasa tunaona watu waki embrace intermarriage. Oh, Wakati yeah. ambapo umeolewa na mtu ambaye mm -hmm. si wa kabila lako mm -hmm. na maybe the extended family yeah. wako na expectation kwamba kama umetoka Moranga utaenda <coughs> yeah, Nyeri. Yeah, hiyo nilipitia. Mm -hmm. 
nilipitia because of my 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 in-laws mm -hmm. who I, of course i hold nothing against uh, because it's it's purely unaweza sema tu innocent ignorance mm -hmm. ilika kuna kitu kama hiyo mm -hmm. yeah because hiyo notion ya these two can't work because this one is from hiyo kitu hiyo kitu it, it doesn't work mm -hmm. it, it's not even in the marriage uh, dictionary mm -hmm. It's just two people agreeing, and if God has brought them together, then uh, I, I, I see no reason why they should not work. But mm -hmm. na hiyo. And my father was like, hey, huko na mamila. <laughs> <laughs> but, I to, but my husband was there to say, mm -hmm. uh, my, my, my dad, my father mwenye alipas. Because by the time we were meeting, the dad had died that year. My, my husband's dad. My father knew that he's, I didn't even meet him. So akamwambia, if I didn't even do whatever walikuwa naniambia nifanye, mm -hmm. it shows clearly I'm not a tradition person. So that should not be an, an issue. And to date, it has never been an issue. I've never had issues with my husband concerning Atimamboza, Sijui, Sijui tribe, Sijui Nini. No. Mm -hmm. We separated our marriage from that. And so even the other relatives and all, we've, um, we've just, uh, to, to me deal na of kitu. Yeah, so there's no interference from either side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there was there was a challenge. There was, it was not easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. like this Kikuyu woman, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, so let's come back to music. Nimbo mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. in a katist kanaija. Is it that? Is it that? Is it that? <laughs> Maybe you could as zingine ambazo oh. as you could purely ours Kenyan. Yes. You can call them Kenyan. Yes. But uh, kuna ako katist. Ako kakitu. Missy, I think it was a face. I was saying, maybe there's a face I was I was composing like that. Mm -hmm. But if you listen to my latest music, mm -hmm. it's purely just uh, English and just more of praise and worship. Simple. Yeah, so maybe 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 kuna vile kuna kwa mtu amesikiza song list yangu mm -hmm. maybe kuna ile kuna hiyo aspect but not not every song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't have any roots or anything. I think it's just something that God gave me and I sang. Mm -hmm. Sina kitu, sina links zote. <laughs> now, we come back to where you said a mother is always a mother. Yes. Na ukatambia kwamba ukiwa mama mm -hmm. it's a full time job. It's a full time and job. And being that you are a singing mother. Yeah. Mama mbaya naimba. Mm. How does that have impact on your family and including your children? Oh, yeah. And hasa your daughters, do they want to follow your path? Mm. Ama kuna wengine unaona hawa, wataki mamba yangu wa nataka kufanya. <laughs> Wacha niseme, mm -hmm. wote wanaimba. Mm -hmm. Wote uwa, uwa wanaimba. But I don't know to what degree they will sing. Mm -hmm. But I know if any one of them pursues singing, they will do it a hundred times more than me. Wow. That's that's a fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, coming from what what wana toa kutoka kwangu, mm -hmm. and then now plus ile mungu wa mapatia, now that will be a very double portion. Mm -hmm. So what wana imba, what I don't know is where they are heading. Siju kama wata pasu, but I see I see greatness. I see people who can sing. Mm -hmm. um, you see kama mimi, me in a family of five, um, actually we just sing, two of us sing, one is trying, but not professionally. The other one doesn't sing professional. I'm the one who sings like Kabisani Metoka. Um, so what I would say is it's it's a choice, you know. But they have it. Mm -hmm. They have it. Even even the dad. They can decide to start it up. Yeah, it's yeah, they can decide because the dad mm -hmm. is 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 an actor, and you can tell it's in the family. It's in the family. We have actresses in the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's about. What now? How they'll decide to do it? Mm -hmm. But I'm there to support them. I'm there to help them along the way because mm -hmm. I believe they are great, great people. Awesome. Do you know? Ah, uh, mm. kuna sababu ambayo inafanya kwamba ni segeme saa na kukuhusu mm. kusababu mm. um kulingana na zile siku amba amemia kamba umeka katika mm. uh, the the music yeah. industry. Yeah. yeah. You have so much. Yeah. You have a lot of wisdom ambayo naweza kugawana na. Yeah wana utazama na wakaweza kusaidika. Mm -hmm. Sijui kulingana na wewe Ruzi, mm -hmm. um, ni nini unaweza kupointa utambayo mm -hmm. mibi haiko katika mziki wetu wa injili hapa kwetu mm -hmm. ama ni nini tunafaa ku, kutafuta sana ili uh, music ifike levels. Mm -hmm. You see like um, 
nchi kama South Africa, mm. nchi kama um, za West Africa, mm. Ghana, mm. Nigeria. Mm. There's a way unaona kwamba baa yao inaenda ikienda hivi. Yeah. First of all I think nitasema to the people of Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, watu wa Kenya they need to they need to know what is gospel music mm -hmm. and they need to support it and follow it mm -hmm. clearly because um I don't see why I should Google a uh, gospel musician like uh, maybe I'm coming from outside which I've heard from a lot of people mm -hmm. and the top uh, people that come on are not really representing the gospel music. So I think as Kenyans mm -hmm. we need to embrace what is gospel. Now I'm talking to Kenyans not musicians because you will know you will know you know a song by uta, utajua fruit yeah, your song <laughs> ulukisikiza tu utajua you you're sensitive to the holy spirit we got saved and we received the holy spirit so we know what is gospel mm -hmm. what is not mm -hmm. so if we start fast giving attention even to what is gospel and putting it up here unaona ikwe kwa map huku kenya juu kabisa i think that's the first step for the people of kenya let them now embrace spiritual music mm -hmm. for real si kusema ti huyu huyu kabisa unaona amejitoa anafanya vitu zake and you're still there unamfollow una comment unafanya nini no give give attention now to the real gospel that's number one for the people of kenya and uh, to the to the people to the person who feels ameitwa in the music for so don't stop coping stop coping because i've seen nimekuja nimeona mtu maybe mtu mmoja amekuja akafanya collab ukachukua huyo mtu bado unafanya collab na eh tena mwingine anachukua anafanya so you don't have a direction ile Mungu amekupatia uh -huh. si lazima Mungu amekuita akakupatia direction you specifically you akakwambia you are supposed to do this you are supposed to do this at this time you are supposed to write such a song unaona at this time you are supposed to stay kwanza tulia kwanza ni kuongelesha ni kuministerie before you release another song so and even collabs they're supposed to be ni, ni, ni kitu umetu, umeambiwa na Mungu ukatumwa uka ukaambiwa endo utafute so so endo ukafanya si eti nime think now ni kama nasikia niko chini sasa na need mtu akuni boost sasa unaenda unatafuta timu mtu mnafanya collab that's purely flesh goodness you need flesh kabisa mm -hmm. so i think we need to come out of flesh we need to know that ni Mungu ametuita sio binadamu mm -hmm. unaona and hiyo kitu tukikuwa clear on it kila mtu ata understand path yake and let me tell you we will not even have uh, issues with that huyu amekopi huyu amefanya hivi huyu anafanya hivi and that competition business mm -hmm. because you'll be confident with who the, the one who has called you utakuwa confident sana oh, yes you'll be confident you'll be so confident even Na in what you're doing uko confident no na hata ukitoa wimbo na feel haijashika ija hit ni sawa but Mungu si alikwambia have you obeyed yes so the most important thing actually is obedience in this journey mm -hmm. obedience oh goodness now kuna challenge nyingine ambayo inawasani ambao bado ndio wanajikuza mm -hmm. production yeah kwa sababu maybe utaenda kwa kwa producer yeah na hata ku correct atakwambia tu hivyo tu atakwacha wimbo off just the way you came off beat wewe imba tu <laughs> akutengenezee instrumental madogadhanio mm -hmm. sasa unajua hiyo mi usema first of all have a musical ear na kama una musical ear go to a trainer akusaidie kusikia <laughs> because sasa kuna mtu atakusikilia au ukienda kwa producer maybe amekutupisha mbao you'll take what he's given you because first of all you don't have a musical ear so i believe na ongelesha watoko na musical ear uh, first of all you need to do your research like for me by the time i go to maybe a certain producer nimesikiza kazi zake zingine mhm mm nikapenda nikasema eh hey, okay i love i love this i love this sound i love this and that's how you 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 do it no no because <clears throat> at the same time about music production if you're doing something spiritual so unafanya kitu spiritual you're doing gospel mm -hmm. umeenda kwa producer fulani hajaokoka hajui Mungu si atakuchanganya si atachanganya wimbo yako and then maybe the song it's supposed to be anointed inaenda pale ina dilutika no please hey. wacha turudi hapo kuna kuna shida yote nikienda kwa producer mwenye ana producing he's up there in secular music production and I'm a gospel music minister and 
ile wimbo ambao ninaimba ama mm. ule wimbo ambao nimeandika mm. melody yake na jena ya hiyo mm. music na si ndio anatoa hiyo beat fulani ndio anacheza beat anatoa hiyo beat <laughs> I've done that I've done that mm. but those are not the best choices I I would rather do a song with a man who fears God mm-hmm. both audio both video mm-hmm. yes because it's important for that song so production yeah see see mimi tu mwenye ninaimba niwe ninamogopa Mungu kila mtu anayehusika na anafaa kuwa kila mtu anayehusika otherwise hata kwa projects ni metre kufanya hivyo i've ended up being frustrated um to ajui Mungu aogopi Mungu hata ajui where you are coming from him he just wants to finish his work and get, get paid and go what will he give you and and you must know that ukikuwa umepata wimbo umepata through the holy spirit mm-hmm. maybe you of course downloaded it from heaven when you come here you want to treat it as ni kama ni ni song tu will it really go and 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 minister the way it was meant to be oh goodness yeah <laughs> now rosy mm-hmm. um kulingana na mahali ambapo tumefika yeah na kulingana na njia ambayo tumefuata the way mm-hmm. the way bwana anatusaidia kila mm-hmm. siku mm-hmm. na jinsi ambavyo mziki wa injili katika nchi yetu ya Kenya umeendelea mm-hmm. i know you will have something to say mm-hmm. uh, zaidi ya hivyo mahapo penye umefika uja ingia kabisa nataka uingie kabisa kwa sababu mm-hmm. kulingana na muda ambao umekuwa katika um, music ministry mm-hmm. God has given you authority amen <laughs> kwa sababu hiyo consistency ya kuwa mm-hmm. hapa mm-hmm miaka 20 yeah miaka 20 sio 20 days yeah true na sio 2 days mm. and for god to have given you that consistency yeah. means he has stamped your ministry yeah, yeah. and so you Amen. can be able to guide yeah. you can also correct yes you have daughters ambao pia now they are upcoming yes na kulingana na wewe um as a mother mm-hmm. how are you able to bring up girls who are also wanaenda kuingia kwa limelight. Oh yeah. Na unajua fame. Mm, I know. Age. Yes. Character yeah. huwa zina zikichanganyikana yeah. hivyo mm. naweza kosa kutoa kitu kizuri. How are Naelewa. you able to, to hey. raise up daughters who are in the limelight? I think I'm a very strict mother. Okay, kwa hivyo kwa sura nyingine ya serious sana. Niko uh-huh. ni, ni. <laughs> Nimekuwa strict kwa sababu mm-hmm. you know when I was young when mm-hmm. I was about before 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 ni fike I think class 8 mm-hmm. I was abused okay by a guy who pretended that kwa ndaka kuni shelter I was in some kind of danger so the guy pretended and uh, he abused me mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I'm coming from there <laughs> and so I think I think my husband has helped me to balance because I'm that kind of a person sasa ni macho yangu ilikuwa hivi haitafanyika kile nilinifanyikia itawafanyikia you know so all along i knew that i have to be there because that which happened to me can't happen to them but apart from that it is purely god because <clears throat> i think our children mm-hmm. what they know hata tukituma mmoja aende huko act what they know is they have to keep the fear of god they they have to be humble because they've never seen me act in a certain you know uh <clears throat> kama kuonesha na pride ama nini in my years of being in the ministry or in the I don't want to call it industry of course <laughs> in the meleta shida so in the years of ministry they've seen me and they've never seen that kind of an aspect and also their father if I make work while I'm late in anyway they've never seen that so that humility must be there they have to hata kiitwa kwa mall hi they have to stop wave back because <laughs> they are not supposed to display any kind of pride mm-hmm. that's how we brought them up and the other thing that keeps them is the fear of god the fear of god hiyo kushinda ukiwa you know when you when you grow these kids up in the ways of god it is true that they will not depart mm-hmm. they will not depart from the truth one is quite tempted vitu uh, zingine maybe zinaweza nini but they'll still come back because umewalea in the fear of god yeah so first of all you have to be a very conscious mother very si ule wa ku mtoto ametoka sijui ameenda wapi na hujui 
Mm-hmm. Iyo kitu. Mm-mm. You have to tell me where you are at all times. Even my 22 year old has to tell me where she is. Ako 18 sawa lakini she's under my roof. So she has to tell me ameenda wapi amefanya ni so lazima kwa rada. Hii kitu wezi achilia hivyo. As a mother. Kwa sababu Psalms 91 nasema shetani kuna njama hizo traps the devil has tried to lay. Ndio Mungu ataziondoa lakini pia wewe work with God. <laughs> Lazima ukae macho. <laughs> Work with God. Don't don't uh, usistuke tu haya. Kumbe tumeingia kwa mtego. Mm-hmm. Na wewe ume, kilala. Yeah, so you have to be very 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 conscious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome now. Yeah. It's been a journey. Mm-hmm. All through your writing music. Yeah. Your playing mm-hmm. piano. Mm-hmm. Um kwingine unalea. Huko kwingine unalea na huko kwingine we ni wife. We ni wife na huko na ujue mimi sikangi na nini we don't we don't we do it ourselves mm-hmm. naishi viloto naishi huko maju hakuna kuweka msichana kwa nyumba so ni wewe na wasichana wangu ndio tuna clean nyumba tunafanya kila kitu awesome. that's how we raise them mm-hmm. <laughs> now the balance <laughs> yes na bado unapata nafasi ya kuandika na kuproduce oh, yeah. na pia yeah. kufanya video yeah huo muda wote Yeah. Your consistency now is what shows. Yeah. Kuna kitu kimekuwa kikifanyika hapa. Yeah. Kwa sababu wakati ambapo umeimba kwa muda fulani mm. na umenyamaza, mm. it remains maybe kuna yeah. wakati mwingine balance side moja imeenda chini ndio ikawa juu. But oh, mm. you've sustained the momentum yeah. umekuwa bado yeah. unaimba. Mm. Na huko familia inaendelea. Watoto wanne si mchezo. Yeah. Si mchezo. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I know. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Kwanza wasichana. I don't know for boys mm-hmm. or is it the same? I don't know. <laughs> so um naweza semaje? First of all God God has allowed me time. Mm-hmm. And I know there is a time I'll be very busy, but it's not this time yet. So I'm still uh, building pole pole because to see where to see kwa waongo tunadanganya ati i'm very busy my time is so exhausted you know i like, don't say that when bado unajua hauko busy mm-hmm. so god i mean allow time kutoka wakiwa wadogo god i mean allow time to be there and because i've not been very busy because how how long maybe you'll do a project for a week or so maybe running around you mm-hmm. know how you do videos and all maybe running around then you come you shoot maybe project in metoka maybe you go on such interviews kama hii um so you can easily just plan your time well mm-hmm. but there's a time when now you're called to unaenda nations na unaenda wapi now that one will be a big challenge but the lord will still help me pull through mm-hmm. kumbuka wasichana bado wamelea wamekuwa kubwa mm-hmm. na wanalea wenzao huyu analea huyu analea huyu analea huyu and that's the good thing about even <coughs> even giving birth early <laughs> mnasikia <laughs> giving birth <laughs> kwa sababu sasa mimi mi, huyu wa mwisho wangu analelewa na wao wengine mm-hmm. so time ikifika ya kwenda Mungu akisema it's time you will, uh, you will always have a deputy parent i'm telling you mm-hmm. na life itaendelea Awesome. <laughs> What is your latest project even as as we wind up? Yeah, please please please. Mm-hmm. Kwa wale watu hawajaona muziki wangu latest. Go to my YouTube channel Rosie Ohon. Mimi mm-hmm. natumia tu hiyo. And uh, watch all the the videos there. Subscribe also and uh, <coughs> keep on sharing. Mm-hmm. There's a song called You Alone. It's a song that I've done. Hiyo ndo latest and I'm still shooting other other ones behind the scene. Um, <coughs> then if you go to my facebook utapata rosy ohon pia niko na niko na page pale instagram bado ni rosy ohon so follow me follow whatever i'm doing i know god is doing great things na tutaendelea mtaweza kufuata kunifuata mm-hmm. yeah so thank you so much for coming thank you so much na tunatumai mm-hmm. kwamba utaendelea kutoa mziki mwingine ambao bado hujaachilia eh, mingi, mingi sana kwa hii camera one uh-huh. your parting shots mm-hmm a word of encouragement mm. so guys what i would want to say leo kile nataka kuambia leo na ilikuwa message yangu leo mm-hmm. so i want to share with you my personal message that give thanks to god give thanks to god i don't know what has happened to you i don't know what is happening to you in your life 
but don't blame it on i don't know what or what don't 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 even think about it and how you'll sort it out and everything just shukuru mungu mwambie mungu asante hivyo tu mwambie mungu asante asante no matter what is mm. happening to you just say thank tell you. god thank, thank you. you thank you so much rosie for coming mm. na unkuja wakati mbaya sana hakuna salamu hakuna hug uh, nothing but it is well thank we you are good.